Do you remember Pokemon Go? That game became so popular because it was based on a revolutionary idea. The idea was as simple as catching Pokemon from the natural environment surrounding the player. This interaction between the real and virtual worlds is called augmented reality, and this is how it's shaping the future of technology. In 1968, the first AR was developed at Harvard, where computer scientist Ivan Sutherland, known as the father of computer graphics, created the first ever AR head-mounted display system. Over the years, universities, companies, and national agencies furthered AR's progress for wearables and digital displays. These early systems skillfully merged virtual information with the physical world, enabling simulations used in aviation, military, and industrial sectors. But then came a long pause on broadening the application spectrum of AR. It wasn't until 2008 that AR made its commercial debut, thanks to German agencies in Munich. They ingeniously crafted a printed magazine ad for a BMW Mini model. When a user held the advertisement in front of a computer camera, the virtual car appeared on the screen, intricately connected to the markers on the physical ad. This extraordinary interaction allowed users to control the digital model in real time, moving it around and exploring different angles merely by manipulating the piece of paper. This marketing marvel opened up a new era where people could engage with digital content seamlessly, blurring the line between physical and virtual realms. By 2010, simulating digital products, enabling them to interact with real-world movements in real time, often through paper printouts, became common. This method found particular appeal in the watch and jewelry industry, allowing people to virtually try on products without physically wearing them. Even the Apple Watch had a similar virtual try-on feature. However, this technology had its limitations. The process involved printing out and cutting a particular paper model to fit one's finger or wrist, making it somewhat cumbersome and requiring effort from the consumer. As of now, Apple is really working hard, and there's a lot of developers working specifically on their AR kit. Not only that, you see a lot of AR ads while watching your favorite sporting event. In many cricket and football leagues, you see ads of products hanging mid-air, even scorecards, which is not something that the people present on the ground can see. But with the addition of just one screen in between you and the event, you see a lot more information than people who actually bought tickets to the event. Yes, they can see it on the big screen in sporting venues, but not like something happening right in front of them. After 2013, another trend popped up. It was VR, or virtual reality. And for that, the user had to wear a huge headset that would take him or her to a virtual world. I mean, super realistic gaming experience, watching movies like you're present in the scene, all of that was quite revolutionary. Seizing upon the opportunity, X Facebook acquired Oculus VR, a leading VR headwear and software company for approximately $2 billion. Oculus was known for its Oculus Rift VR headset, which provided high quality VR experiences to users. After the acquisition, Facebook continued to develop and release new Oculus VR headsets, improving the hardware and refining the user experience. After checking the hardware box, Facebook gathered developers from around the globe and gave birth to the Metaverse, a virtual world that you can access only with a VR headset. In this surreal world, you can design your life again, buy property and goods in exchange of cryptocurrency, buy art in the form of NFTs, and communicate with your friends and professional circle in an entirely new way. But then the metaverse started declining, majorly because it never achieved the desired number of active users projected initially by business analysts. Although now, metaverse is trending again as the number of people on the platform is growing, and projections tell that one in every four people will be using the metaverse by 2026. AR always showed potential because it never required people to look like aliens. And now, something new has popped up. Apple just announced the Vision Pro headset, priced at $3,499, which is a debate for another day, but the demo was truly groundbreaking. Yes, it took people into a surreal world, but with a whole new level of control and customization. To achieve this feat, Apple combined both AR and VR capabilities. The way it basically works is by scanning your surroundings and by placing virtual objects in the room you are in. You can see what's happening around you in reality thanks to its multiple viewfinders. Not only that, people can actually see your eyes, in a way that they are projected on an OLED screen in front of the headset so the communication between you and the other people remains seamless. 
I mentioned control earlier, and this headset gives you the option to set the ratios of real and virtual worlds in front of your eyes. You can go all VR, for example when you're watching a movie, and you can extend the screen size to 100 plus inches and choose the environment you want. This right here is the part that I'm personally most excited about. I mean, who wouldn't want to watch Oppenheimer in a dark, dimly lit environment garnished with fire flames? So if you think that this headset is all about entertainment, you need to know that it is also redefining computing forever. You can have your Mac screens, multiple ones, projected in front of your eyes so you can command it with just your two fingers. You can also have a virtual keyboard and you can scroll through the web using your eye movements. Yes, this headset still makes you look like an alien, but when Apple makes things, you can bet that they wouldn't be ergonomically sound. And to be honest, no one would spend $3,500 on something that causes a headache. Way before the Vision Pro was even speculated, there were rumors all around the internet about Apple making AR glasses. Many YouTubers, along with this channel, discussed the features it was supposed to come out with, but now it seems like the project has ended up somewhere in the backburners. Mac Rumor claims that the Apple Glasses are now expected to launch in 2026 or 2027 at the earliest. However, Mark Gurman claims that the $400 glasses would take at least 4 to 5 years more. But one thing is for sure. The practicality of AR is way more than VR, or even a mix of both. The future is AR, and we're not far away from the time when we see AR in almost every tech product we come across. Here is how AR will become one of the enabling technologies in the future. In the foreseeable future, no longer will this technology be confined to gimmicks or specialized applications. Rather, it have evolved into one of the most persuasive and enabling technologies of our time. As the sun rises on a typical day, we would wake up to a world brimming with AR-powered smart devices. Our smart mirrors project personalized morning briefings and virtual calendars, while AR glasses display real-time weather and traffic information as we step out the door. Commuting becomes a delight as AR windshields offer interactive navigation and heads-up displays, making road trips safer and more enjoyable. In the workplace, AR revolutionizes collaboration. Colleagues spread across the globe meet in virtual boardrooms, their holographic avatars projecting realistic presence. Architects design buildings, engineers refine blueprints, and artists craft sculptures all within a shared AR space, fostering seamless teamwork across disciplines. Education would embrace AR, redefining the learning experience. Students will be able to interact with lifelike historical figures, explore distant planets, and conduct virtual experiments. Complex subjects will be simplified, and abstract concepts are brought to life through immersive visualizations, sparking a passion for knowledge in youthful minds. Healthcare also sees a tremendous leap forward with AR applications. Surgeons will be able to perform intricate procedures with AR overlays, providing real-time data and enhancing precision. Patients would undergo therapy with AR-assisted rehabilitation, empowering them in their recovery journey. Entertainment will be on a whole new dimension with AR-driven experiences. Moviegoers will become part of the story, stepping into the cinematic worlds they adore. Gamers will be able to traverse virtual realms that seem to blend with the real environment, creating unforgettable adventures. And retail will become an immersive affair, with AR transforming the way we shop. Customers will be able to try on virtual clothes, place furniture in their homes virtually before purchase, and interact with products in a dynamic manner, revolutionizing the retail landscape. Tourists will be able to embark on enhanced city tours guided by historical figures and see ancient civilizations come to life before their eyes. Language barriers will vanish as AR-powered translators facilitate seamless communication between people of diverse backgrounds. In social interactions, AR will transcend physical boundaries. Friends would gather in virtual hangouts, attending concerts and events together, regardless of their geographical location. Relationships would blossom as meaningful connections are formed through shared virtual experiences. And lastly, AR's omnipresence will be fueled by its convergence with other emerging technologies like AI, Internet of Things, and 5G, fostering a symbiotic relationship that propels the world into a new era of human-computer interaction. I have another intriguing video on the technologies that would shape our future, and be sure to check that out as it would be popping on your screen by now, and I'll catch you there in a moment.